Welcome to The Leader's Bookshelf, a weekly journey through today's top business and personal development books with your host, Frank Gustafson. If you read the lead, welcome home. If you want to read the lead, you're in the right place. Now grab your reading glasses and a cup of hot coffee, and let's get this show on the road. Hey, Frank here with The Leader's Bookshelf, and I wanted to share a book that I finished here recently with you called The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. I've heard a lot about this book over the years. It's been out for quite a while. In fact, this is the 25th anniversary edition of this book. If you go on Amazon and look it up, you're going to see a, a number of different covers, and this is the 21st, the 25th anniversary edition. And I read this book. It's one of those books that once you start it, it's not a huge book, but once you start it, you're not going to be able to put it down because it is such a great story. And it, and if you've, if you're familiar at all with the leader's bookshelf and have seen some of the books that I've read, you know that I, ha I don't read a lot of fiction and this is a fiction book. However, it is, it's more of, I don't know, uh, maybe a fable. I guess you would probably call it a fable more than anything else, because it's the story of, uh, of a young shepherd boy who meets a, a wise individual and kind of goes through this whole uh, uh, part of his maturation process, process and part of uh, this journey that he goes on to find his ultimate truth in life, which, which leads him to uh, really finding himself and what his true passion in, in life is and helps him kind of get to th that space that I think we're all really looking for, right? I think if you look back and you and you think about your life and you think about some of the things that you've gone through, or, or if you haven't gone through this, this is something to look forward to. You're going to have wise counselors that are going to appear in your life or that have appeared in your life and, and they're going to, and they're going to sow into you. And you're going to hopefully heed their wisdom and, uh, and and take a journey on your own. And this book really is the journey of this young man, this young uh, shepherd boy, who kind of goes through these this just this amazing uh, personal life journey. And I really did I really did enjoy this book. I really enjoyed it a lot. One of the I had a friend that said the other day, Frank, you know, you say on your on your uh, on the leader's bookshelf, you're always saying you ought to read this book, you ought to read this book, but you don't really talk about who this book is for and who this and 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 why they should read this book for them individually. Well, you know, as I've said on here before, I if I I always the books that I that I review on the on the the leader's bookshelf are books that I always recommend. And if I don't, if it's not a book that I would recommend, it's probably one that I'm not going to put out on the program. And uh, and, it's, and it's certainly not a book that I'm going to read cover to cover. So I can only read things that, I can only recommend things that I that I like uh, or, and that I've read. But this book, I think, is is one of those books that can literally be for just about anybody because all of us are on a journey of, uh, of some magnitude in our lives and we're on a we're on a on a path from you know here where we are or even farther back where we've come from all the way through to kind of where we're heading and where we're going and i think that it's important to understand that there's wisdom in the ages and i think you have to be discerning in as to what you're going to follow and what you're not going to follow but you know this book is one of those books that I think Trixie Bell is my dog making all that racket in here. The uh, this book is one of those books that has really gone down in in the in the um, in the history of books as being a a great uh, work. I've seen different statistics about this book. I've seen that it sold sixty five million. I've seen that it sold over a hundred million. Some of the some of these statistics are dated, but th the book has is literally. If you go to Amazon and you look it up, you look up the Alchemist 
by Paulo Coelho, you'll notice that it is ranked super high in a lot of different categories. It really, really, and truly is a good book. Um, no, it's not a good book. It's a great book. And it's a book that once you start reading it, you're going to, Trixie, stop. My God, I'm working here. It's a book that hopefully will speak to you. And hopefully it's it's one of those books that you're going to read multiple times in your life. And you're going to, you, know, you, you may see yourself somewhere along this path, along this journey, along this continuum that this young man is is on. So long and the short of it is, I highly recommend you grab yourself a copy of Paulo Coelho. That's C-O-E-L-H-O, Paulo Coelho, The Alchemist, and, and give it a read. Let me know your thoughts on it. I'd be really interested in, in knowing how, uh, kind of what your thoughts on this book uh, are. Until next time, hey, keep turning those pages. We'll see you in the next episode. Hey, thanks again for stopping by the Leader's Bookshelf. I would love to get your feedback on this show. If there's anything that you'd like to say with regard to a specific episode of the show in general, or if you have book recommendations, I'm always open to those. Just stop by theleadersbookshelf.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.